Hey everybody, I'm Megan hatcher Mays, Director of Democracy Policy at Indivisible and the host of Impeachment Daily, which exists to demystify the impeachment process and let you know how you can stay involved in this fight. So we have even more breaking impeachment news for you. Last night, Lev Parnas, a close associate of Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump, gave one of the wildest interviews I've seen in a while. He went on Rachel Maddow to talk about his involvement in this Ukraine scandal. So we're going to dive into all of that. Plus, there was even more breaking news just today that the Government Accountability Office has determined that Trump's decision to withhold $400 million in aid from Ukraine was, big shocker here, illegal. So we're going to talk about that too and what it all might mean for the upcoming Senate impeachment trial, which gets underway in earnest next Tuesday, January 21st. So let's get going with our first segment, which is called, What Just Happened? Where we recap what we know. So, all right. As you know, yesterday, a huge trove of documents that included even more evidence of Donald Trump's prolific corruption became public. Those documents were provided by a guy named Lev Parnas, close pal of Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump, as I mentioned. Parnas is currently under federal indictment for illegally fun uh, funneling foreign money into the campaign coffers of Republicans running for Congress. Not good. And as these new documents show, Parnas was deeply involved in Trump's scheme to uh, shake down the president of Ukraine in an attempt to get him to interfere in the 2020 elections here in the United States. Parnas was directly involved in this attempt to get Ukraine to publicly announce investigations into Trump's political opponents, and Parnas himself was very and very creepily involved in trying to get the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine at the time, Marie Ivanovich, removed from her job. So Parnas has a lot of direct knowledge of the inner workings of Trump's criminal conspiracy. And he went on Rachel Maddow last night to talk about all of it, and it was a real rodeo. Some of the highlights include Parnas admitting that, quote, President Trump knew exactly what was going on. He was aware of all of my movements. I wouldn't do anything without the consent of Rudy Giuliani or the president. End quote, which I assume includes the fact that Parnas was working with a guy named Robert Hyde, a Republican congressional candidate, to tail Marie Ivanovich, they had her under surveillance, and threaten physical harm against her. Really scary stuff. And not only did all of that happen, it happened with Trump's knowledge. This is not a case of Trump's employees going rogue. This was all part of Trump's plan to steal the 2020 election. So Parnas went on to admit what has been obvious all along. This was not about fighting corruption in Ukraine. This was not about the president's foreign policy objectives at all. Now remember, that's what Republicans have been advancing as Donald Trump's main defense, that the president has broad authority to pursue whatever foreign uh, policy priorities that he wants. So if Trump wanted to hold up the $400 million, hey, no big deal, right? But this did not have anything to do with foreign policy. Lev Parnas, Lev Parnas said it best, quote, it was all about Joe Biden and Hunter Biden. It was never about corruption. It was strictly about Burisma, which included Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Like, this is all so incredibly damning, and Parnas didn't stop there. He didn't stop at just Trump and Giuliani being involved, because he also implicated the vice president, Mike Pence, who Parnas said couldn't have not known about Trump's scheme in Ukraine because everybody was in the loop. And, of course, Parnas pointed the finger at Attorney General Bill Barr, who besides, by the way, besides Donald Trump, might be the most corrupt and unhinged person in the entire administration, like for real. So Maddow asked Lev Parnas, do you know if Mr. Giuliani was ever in contact with Attorney General Barr, specifically about the fact that he was trying to get Ukraine to announce these investigations into Joe Biden? And Parnas said, oh, absolutely. And then Maddow followed up with, Mr. Barr knew about that. And Parna said, Mr. Barr had to have known everything. It was impossible. 
it was impossible for Bill Barr not to have known everything that was going on. So look, I always say that Donald Trump is the most corrupt president in US history, which is plainly true. But he surrounds himself with like the most corrupt human beings in US history. It's, it, the expansiveness of the corruption is like mind boggling, which is why the next phase of the impeachment trial is so important because it's really about taking a stand against Trump, not only Trump though, but Trumpism, like the way he runs the country and who he runs the country with. So that actually brings us to our next segment, which is called what is happening where we discuss what is happening so as you know the senate impeachment trial will get underway like for real next tuesday and honestly who knows what we might find out between now and then about donald trump like in addition to this like extraordinary set of documents provided by lev parnas just today the government accountability office which as i'm sure you can guess by the name is a very important government watchdog agency that issues reports about wrongdoing in the federal government. Now, anyway, the Government Accountability Office just today issued a report that concluded that yes, Donald Trump did violate the law when he withheld that aid money from Ukraine. There was no legal justification for it. And in fact, he broke the law when he did it. So the report went on to detail how the Office of Management and Budget or OMB that's the office in the White House that's responsible for, you know, the money. So this report found the following, that faithful execution of the law does not permit the president to substitute his own policy priorities for those that Congress has enacted into law. OMB withheld these funds for a policy reason, which is not permitted under federal law. So let's just recap that. The White House office that is in charge of the Ukraine money, which Donald Trump oversees, broke the law when it withheld the money, which Donald Trump personally asked them to do. Nevertheless, we have a bunch of feckless Republicans in the Senate acting like, hey man, this is no big deal. So what are we gonna do about them? Well, we're gonna keep calling them every single day. This is very, very serious. They don't want any witnesses or any documents to be presented in this trial. And as we can see from the Lev Parnas documents, I kind of understand it. They want this done quickly. They want to exonerate Trump without having to hear any of that stuff. That's unacceptable. Unacceptable. So keep calling your senators every day, especially if you have a Republican senator, especially if your Republican senator is up for election in 20, a re-election in 2020, and let them know how important this is to you. We must have a fair and open trial with witnesses, with documents that provide a full airing of the evidence against Donald Trump. So give them a call, let them know that you want a fair and open trial in the Senate. If your Senator has already come out in favor of a fair and open trial, call them and thank them for standing up for our democracy. So if you text witnesses, W I T N E S S E S to 97779, we can connect you directly with your Senator. So, Please do that. Please text witnesses to 97779. Keep calling your senators, especially the Republican ones, and let's stay in this fight together. Thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow.